Hi. For my thesis, I am training a race driver agent for Torx. Problems like these are difficult because agents need to anticipate the future. Reinforcement learning algorithms are particularly suited to consecutive decision making, like in playing games, because they explicitly account for the future. The agent starts without any knowledge about the world and gradually learns by trial and error. In this video, I show the agent's behavior on two unseen test tracks, Monza and CG Speedway. In the meantime, I explain how the agent learns. First, we need to define the problem. The goal of the agent is to reach the end of the track, and preferably as fast as possible. To do that, it needs to make a lot of decisions, around 15 per second. And every time it makes a decision, it gets a feedback signal, called a reward. The reward is proportional to the speed of the car projected on the track. As long as the car is on the track, because if it isn't, we give it a penalty and the reward will be negative. The job of the reinforcement learning algorithm is to maximize the value. The value is the sum of discounted future rewards. The reinforcement learning algorithm estimates how much rewards you are going to get from that point onwards. Sooner rewards are worth more than distant rewards because of the discount factor. As mentioned, the test tracks were not used for training. Let's show a couple of training tracks. We generated a range of single curve tracks with varying track width and curvature. The agents were launched at random speed from a varying position on the track. Agents trained for about one hour, or 3000 training runs. I use the DDPJ algorithm, which is based on the actor-critic architecture. Actor-critic reinforcement learning algorithms divide the reinforcement learning task into a separate actor and a critic. The actor is a mapping from state to action, the critic is a mapping from a state action pair to the Q-value. The state is a 49-dimensional real-valued vector, 5 dimensions for the speed and accelerations of the car, and 44 values for the track description from an egocentric viewpoint. No visual information was used. The action is also real valued and two dimensional. One value for steering and one for the brake and throttle pedals. Both the actor and the critic are approximated using neural networks. During a run, the actor calculates the greedy action. To this action, a bit of noise is added for exploration. The critic takes the action and the state and values the pair. If the state action pair was better than the critic expected, the actor should do it more often. These updates are done using backpropagation. The actor and critic are both updated on the temporal difference of the Q value, as if they were one network. This is possible because they are connected in the action. More details on DDPG and the implementation can be found in the final report. Compared to the built-in scripted agent Bernie W, the resulting DDPG agent is around 5 seconds slower on a more difficult Monza circuit and 0.2 seconds faster on CG Speedway, which you are watching now. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.